Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of the eighth anniversary of his accession to the throne in Saudi Arabia. His Majesty wished King Salman abundant health and happiness, Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty hailed Saudi Arabia's role in serving the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations and the developmental achievements in various fields. He highlighted the deep-rooted fraternal relations between the two countries and people and the development and growth they witness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa highlighted the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the unwavering support they received from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness commended the announcement made by the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud during the sixth edition of the Future Investment Initiative initiative on the public investment funds establishment of five regional companies aimed at investing in a number of regional countries including Bahrain. The PIF will invest in several strategic sectors including infrastructure, real estate development, mining, healthcare, financial services, food and agriculture, manufacturing, communications and technology and other vital sectors. His Royal Highness noted that the announcement is a reflection of the efforts made by the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, highlighting Bahrain's economy that attracts strategic opportunities and investments. He emphasized the kingdom's commitment to furthering its infrastructure development in line with current and future development needs. He noted that Saudi Arabia has always led innovative initiatives to benefit the region and its people, highlighting the role it plays in promoting global economic stability and in safeguarding regional and international security and stability. His Royal Highness further congratulated His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman on the success of the sixth edition of the FII, emphasizing that Saudi Arabia has become a global hub for the creation and success of important initiatives. He concluded by wishing Saudi Arabia continued progress and prosperity. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the Huawei Seed Program graduation ceremony in the presence of the Minister of Education, the Minister of Labor, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, the Chinese Ambassador to the Kingdom, Regional CEO of Huawei and Bahrain CEO of Huawei. His Highness affirmed that enhancing the skills of the youth is at the top priorities of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, followed by the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the belief that the youth are the future. His Highness also praised the vital role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in providing the perfect environment for the youth as well as training opportunities that allows them to lead the future of the kingdom towards further progress and prosperity. His Highness then honored the outstanding graduates, sponsors and universities and expressed appreciation for the role of Huawei in introducing training programs in the kingdom and praised the cooperation of all concerned bodies that contributed to achieve the desired goals.
The Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin announced the launch of the national training program to enhance the protection of human rights in the criminal justice system. More in this report. The Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin chaired a session in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid al zayani the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Halil Ansari, the Minister of Social Development, Usam al Asfur, and Head of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tariq al Hassan, where he announced the launch of the National Training Program to enhance the capacities of those concerned with the protection of human rights and the criminal justice system, which is organized by the Special Investigation Units in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program, the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies, and the Royal Police Academy. The meeting aims to support national efforts working to protect and promote human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain. This national training program came with a goal to raise the scientific and practical competence of all human rights workers in the Kingdom. A remarkable qualitative presence, specialists and academics, officials at the highest levels working on human rights in the Kingdom, all attended and participated out of their interest in pushing the Human Rights March in the Kingdom of Bahrain to achieve further progress in the performance of this noble mission. His Excellency, the Attorney General, Dr. Ali bin Fadl Bouainin, belief in the promotion of human rights in the criminal justice system is an important path to the rule of law and any compromise is amplified if done in the course of application of legal process. This is under the existent approach to continuously promote education and awareness of all those involved in the enforcement of the law. The sponsorship by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin the Attorney General of this training program, comes within the framework of achieving the objectives of the National Human Rights Plan of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2022-2026. This program is truly a testament to his unwavering support to the Special Investigation Unit. This program also seeks to shed light upon the importance of instilling human rights principles within the criminal justice system and more specifically the criminal procedural law. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Naif Al Hajraf, on the sidelines of his participation in the Future Investment Initiative being held in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The minister hailed a Gulf joint action in the financial and economic fields supported by GCC leaders. He stressed Bahrain's keenness on supporting joint efforts to consolidate a complementary work and spurring further development and prosperity. He praised the GCC strides, stressing the importance of building on achievements to further consolidate foundations of joint coordination at various levels in a manner that contributes to supporting development paths and reaching the desired economic integration. The Minister of Finance and National Economy also met with the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Saudi Telecommunications Company, STC, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Khalid Al Abdullah Al Faisal. The Minister highlighted the importance, at, uh, the importance attached to the telecommunications and information technology sector in Bahrain and the keenness on further developing it in line with the goals of the Economic Recovery Plan. He noted the importance of continuing to support the digital infrastructure of the telecommunications communications and information technology sector in order to enhance its competitiveness and enable it to cope with technological progress. The Minister of Finance and National Economy met with the Saudi Public Investment Fund, a PIF governor, Yasser bin Uthman al rumayyan and other PIF officials. The minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness on creating promising investment opportunities, which contribute to revitalizing vital sectors and spurring growth. He highlighted the kingdom's drive to support the economic sectors to achieve development goals led by His Majesty the King and an implementation of the government's plans chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stressed uh, the prominent role played by the sovereign investment funds as an effective economic engine to uh, support economic growth, noting the level of investment cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the importance of further strengthening uh, cooperation to achieve common aspirations, growth and prosperity for the two friendly countries and peoples. 
The Minister of Finance and National Economy also received Greece's Minister of Development and Investment, Adonis Georgiadis. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed bilateral relations binding Bahrain and Greece, particularly in the economic and investment fields. The Minister of Finance stressed the importance of building on achievements to further expand joint ties towards meeting common aspirations and goals. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, SCE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputized the Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, to attend the ministerial meeting to prepare for the Middle East Green Initiative, MGI Summit, which is convened in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Dr. Bin Dana expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia for hosting the conference, commending the strong fraternal relations between Bahrain and KSA in various fields. He praised the efforts being made to achieve the visions and aspirations of the two brotherly countries regarding development of the environmental sector. Dr. Bendaina emphasized the importance of achieving a further regional consensus in environmental matters and moving forward towards approving the document of the Middle East Green Initiative. He praised the content of the initiative's document aimed at fostering regional cooperation and unifying joint environmental visions between the Middle East countries to achieve the sustainable development goals and preserve a biodiversity in the region. The Bahrain Defense Force held a graduation ceremony for the third batch of civilian volunteers for the Reserve Force for the relatives of BDF and National Guard affiliates and retirees. In the presence of the Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa at the Military Sports Unit. In their speech during the ceremony, the graduates volunteers expressed pride in the military training they received during the course, which contributed to their military and defense qualification and the refinement of their administrative skills. They pledged to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to always be fully prepared and ready to defend the homeland. After the graduates took the legal oath, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid presented awards of appreciation to the excellent graduates and certificates to the graduates of the third batch of civilian volunteers for the reserve force. The graduation was attended by a number of senior BDF officers. In the context of the preparations for the parliamentary elections, a joint coordination meeting was held between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Executive Management for the 2022 parliamentary elections. With the participation of ambassadors and heads of consulates and diplomatic missions in which the polls will be held for citizens abroad, which is scheduled for Tuesday 8th November. During the meeting, the Chairman of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, Executive Director of the Parliamentary and Municipal Elections 2022, Councillor Nawaf Hamza, reviewed the procedures followed before, during and after the voting process. He stressed the keenness on strengthening organizational efforts within the preparations to facilitate the electoral process and to ensure the smoothness of the voting process for citizens outside the Kingdom. Councillor Hamza urged citizens who are abroad to participate in the elections of members of the Council of Representatives. Bahrain's ambassador to France, Dr. Mohamed Abdel Ghaffar Abdullah, presented his credentials to the head of the Vatican Church, His Holiness Pope Francis, as ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary to the Vatican and residing in Paris. The ambassador conveyed to His Holiness Pope Francis the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and their wishes of abundant health and happiness. He stressed the importance of supporting and strengthening the strong relations between Bahrain and the Vatican at all levels. Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar also affirmed to His Holiness that Bahrain pursues a policy of peace, tolerance, openness and dialogue, noting that the Kingdom is looking forward to the expected historic visit that His Holiness will pay in November. 
Bahrain Network BNET announced winning the 2022 Middle East Technology Excellence Award in the telecom infrastructure category that was organized by the Institute of Middle East Excellence Award. The primary objective is to ensure equivalent access to infrastructure in Bahrain, especially given Bahrain's uh, micro uh, geographical presence. Uh, Bahrain was one of the first countries in the GCC and the, the Middle East region to have a fully liberated market and it was important to build on that and to improve Bahrain's competitiveness internationally. And so the separation project and to ensure that uh, equal access to infrastructure was made available was of key importance. This was a pioneering project and so we had to split off uh, the incumbent uh, while ensuring that operations continued to be in live and to serve the, all the other operators. And so uh, there were systems to be separated and built from the ground up, there were staff to be removed and to rebuild the reference offer entirely as an infrastructure provider. And so all of this happened under the shadow of COVID-19, which added its own complexity. And so we were able to do this within two years, which is no small feat, but thanks to the, the uh, efforts of all of the teams involved, involved from the telco and from Bean. The Board of Directors has initiated the Gigabit Bahrain uh, initiative, which hopefully within uh, 12 to 18 months, we'll see the minimum speeds in Bahrain being Gigabit and hopefully leading to Bahrain being one of the top 10 countries worldwide when it comes to internet speed and ubiquity of access. So we have our work cut out for us. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the terrorist attack that targeted a religious shrine in the city of Shiraz, Iran, which led to the death and injury of a number of civilians, contradicting all religious, moral and humanitarian values and principles. The ministry expresses Bahrain's condolences and its sympathy with the families of the victims and its wishes for a speedy recovery for the ones injured, affirming its stance that rejects all forms of extremism, violence and terrorism.